Hi friends and welcome back. If you're visiting with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire. And I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with a worship service for the entire church family, but I also get to come here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church. And I am so glad that you are joining me here today. I want to talk to you about a season of the church that we are about to enter. Now, a season is a period of time marking something special. Now, we sometimes talk about weather seasons, summer, spring, autumn, or winter, but there are other seasons, like there's the Christmas season, and there's the Easter season. And the season that we are about to enter into the church is called Lent. And that is a season in which we prepare for Easter. We prepare for the joy of the resurrection of Jesus. And lots of people prepare in different ways. What we're preparing is for our hearts to be open and to be able to receive the joy and all that it means that Jesus was resurrected for us. And now, lots of people throughout history have prepared in different ways. And the way I like to prepare is to look at where do I want to be? Where do I want to be when I'm at that point? So I want to be where God wants me to be. Now, when we prepare, the word prepare is to, means to look at what do I need to bring or what do I need to do in order to be completely ready for what's coming. So I might prepare for a trip like make prepare for a vacation by packing certain clothes that make sense for where I'm going. If where I'm going has a swimming pool, I want to make sure I pack my bathing suit. If where I'm going it's going to be cold, I want to make sure I pack my coat. And so I prepare by making sure I have what I need. Or I, I'm, you might prepare for the start of school by buying your school supplies, by making sure that your clothing and your shoes fit you by making sure that you have the, the right clothing or you have the right technology or the supplies. That's how you prepare to go to school. Or you might be just preparing to make a meal for dinner and you want to make sure that you have the time that you need to do it, that, need, that you need to do what you want to do. You need to make sure you have the ingredients. So if you want to have hamburgers and french fries, you want to make sure that you have the meat and the french fries and whatever you like to put on your meat and maybe you want to make sure you have rolls you want to make sure you have something to drink before you get started because if you start doing it and you don't have something you could have some problems or you might just not enjoy that meal as much so when I look at Easter I look at well, what do I need to do to prepare myself for where God wants me to be and so I spent a lot of time thinking about it and praying about it and saying, what are the things that you want of me, God? And when I looked in the Bible, I saw that the very first thing that God asked of people was to take care of God's creation, to take care of the earth to take care of all the things that were in the earth, the birds and the animals and the fish, to take care of the trees and the plants. And I thought, you know, maybe, maybe that's how I'm going to prepare this year, is by looking at how does God want me to take care of God's creation. And so I've decided that each week of Lent, I'm going to come to you talking about a different way that I can focus on taking care of God's creation, the earth, and all that's in it. And I've invited some people to join with me because 
I know that they know a lot about a number of different things involved in taking care of creation. And so I've asked them to join with me. So each week you will be seeing a different person joining with me talking about and doing something to care for God's creation. I think it's something that will be fun, but also important and will help me to prepare to listen to God if I know that I'm doing the first thing that God asked of human beings like me. And so I hope you'll join with me throughout this season. We have, diff as I said, different people, and we're going to talk about different topics on caring for God's creation. And it will start next Wednesday, March 2, um, and we will have a video here on YouTube, and it's they are posted uh, every Wednesday and they're available to watch at 6 o'clock in the morning and then continue to watch any time that's convenient for you. So I hope that you'll join with me and that if you know the person who is in the uh, video with me that you say something to them afterwards. Let them know you watch them in the video and thank them for being part of it and for helping you prepare and me prepare and us to all prepare together. Will you join with me in prayer? Gracious God, we thank you for this world, this beautiful, wonderful world that you have given to us to live in. And we know that you created it all, but that you ask us to help you care for it. So in this Lent season, we're going to do just that. We're going to look at all of the ways that we can care for your creation so that we can have it always and it will be here for our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren to enjoy in its beauty. Guide us as we go through this month and these weeks and help us to learn how we can care for your earth. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this week, and I hope that you have a great week, and I hope you'll be here throughout this entire season. And until we get together again, remember, I miss you, I love you, and above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.